Gina, that was an excellent, excellent evaluation. Like everyone said, that didn't seem like your first evaluation. I was quite shocked. I like the things that you did, especially the part where you list things. I love lists. And her lists were not long. It was one, two, three, right? She lists the things she liked about Darren's speech. One, two, and three. And she also listed how he can do better in terms of a new skill, talking about exaggeration. One, two, and three. So that was really good. But what about the things that he didn't do? Or not didn't do, but that he did, but couldn't do better, right? That, I think, for me, is strategic for relationships when it comes to Darren. The way he communicates, he needs to know, okay, this is what I did, but how can I do that better? Rather than add a new skill and really start from, from nothing again. So, from working in HR for over 10 years, I think there's three levels of communication that's very useful for me. The first one, the first level, is express, ex being able to express yourself, okay? Showing your own personality. Most of us in here can do that, and I think that's really good, but that's, for me, is the foundation. Number two is to customize the style, the communication style, to the person that you're actually speaking to. That's a little bit harder, right? So Darren, how you speak to Darren might be different than how you speak to, to Ben or Iris, right? So these things, how do you customize it? And then level three is hard, I think, and it is to hit the bullseye with your message. What is the main point? What can you say that can actually hit Darren in the brain <laughs> to make him feel like, oh, got it. And that's hard because a lot of times we can't figure that out ourselves. So, you could have said to Darren, like the way I communicate with Darren, and say, I love you, man. <laughs> but of course, you can't say that. He's a married man, but I could say that, right? But when I said that, anything I said... He doesn't know he's married. Oh, he doesn't know. Okay, you're married. <laughs> but... When you say, when I said, hey, I, I love you, man, because I know I was going to hit him hard after, anything I said, he was going to connect with. He was going to be okay with, no matter how hard I gave it to him. And I told him some, some pretty hard stuff, if you, you know, saw his speech. But a couple of the things that he, he didn't do was, he sometimes will start a story, but will not finish and tell us what the result was. One of them was talking about Holland, like, well, what's the point of Holland? Today, he said something about his job. Well, did you get that bank job? I have no clue, right? Tell us at least, right? Is there a to be continued? Also, he talks about keep calm and carry on, but how? I hate the thing when people tell me, just, hey, just don't be nervous. But how? How do you not be nervous? He saw his hand, he was shaking. Is it just to hold it? Right? You gotta figure out, you gotta figure out, you gotta practice, you gotta prep, do you listen to music, do you be yourself, how do you actually do it? So these are points that Gina, you can do better next time. Thank you.